Now I want to switch gears and I want to talk about the United States of America and I want to tell you a story about the United States of America that most of you don't know. Certainly most Americans don't know this story because we have this idealistic story about noble America that bears little resemblance to reality. <laughs> the United States, and what I'm going to do here is try and convince you that the United States since 1783 in terms of foreign policy has acted according to my theory. That's what I'm going to try and do. 1783, the United States started out as 13 measly colonies strung out along the Atlantic seaboard. What did we do? We marched across the continent to the Pacific Ocean. We murdered huge numbers of Native Americans. We stole their land. We went to war with Mexico in the middle of the 19th century, and we stole from Mexico what is now the southwest of the United States. We invaded Canada in 1812 for the express purpose of making Canada part of the United States. For those of you who don't know, the reason Toronto is not the capital of Canada and Ottawa is the capital of Canada is they expected us to pay a return visit. Furthermore, with regard to the Caribbean, we'd own all the Caribbean now. Places like Cuba and Puerto Rico would be American states if it weren't for the fact that it was inextricably tied up with the issue of slavery. And the northern states said, we're not going into the Caribbean because there are too many slaves down there. Those are slaveholding states, and we don't want any more slaveholding states. We had a voracious appetite for conquest. Adolf Hitler, when he went into the Soviet Union in the summer of 1941, sometimes talked about imitating the Americans and their ability to conquer and gain territory. He admired us greatly. He was trying to emulate us. He referred to the Volga, uh, the Volga River as my Mississippi. That's how the United States was created. It's an expansionist country like we've never seen on the planet before. 